hello welcome to my channel so i'm going to be giving you a detailed walkthrough on how i created this in figma make sure to hit the subscribe button to get notified whenever i post a video like this on advanced prototyping you're definitely going to be learning a lot in prototyping how to do some amazing stuff like this in figma we're going to be dropping videos every week make sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on any time i post a video like this i'm going to jump to tutorial bye so to set the ball rolling we are going to get a frame out i'm going to I've already brought out some of the images that I use on those slides. So these are the icons that I also use. And uh, here is another icon that I used. And this is another icon for the logo. And uh, I'm going to go to the frame to select, go to desktop, then select MacBook Air. That's what I'll be using. So for this, I'm going to write the i'm just going to write home and uh to check what i have there i have home accessories store how to use and support so just get this here i'm going to duplicate it duplicate duplicate and duplicate so we have accessories and uh, we have store then i have how to use then support so once that is done i'm going to select everything and add up the layout then move it back to this place I'm going to select these two icons and move it right inside here. So to move that in, I'm just going to open these guys up, increase the height so this can actually enter inside. So once that has been sorted, I'm going to set this to auto so we can actually move things and it resize itself by itself. So select everything here and add auto layout now i'm going to set 30 as the pardon open this up i'm going to bring it right inside here inside this frame make sure it's inside this frame set this to auto and uh, get this to the top so once i've done that i'm going to fill it then use gradient now i'm going to turn the gradient let the black flow from the top so i'm just going to set this black to this place then give opacity of six nine going to do the same thing for this set it to black then set the opacity to zero so once i'm done i'm going to bring our base image inside here send it to back i'm going to send this to back or you can just press it on your lap, on your keyboard so once that is done i'm now going to design those um, call to action cta's that is already already here so to do that i'm going to move this inside here then frame it first before you add the layout so i'm just going to frame it i'm going to select this and frame and add the layout so once the layout has been added i'm going to put 10 and i'm also going to set 10 then set to fill get this fill to 40 percent so once it's like this i'm just going to give a corner radius of 50. go to your effects and set background background blur to 20. yep and we're done so i'm going to duplicate it after duplicated I'm going to 
select both of them and add auto layout select this guy and set it to 180 so it fits on it points towards the right I would set things like this okay I'm going to call this navigation and what is this I'm going to call this header so we have another frame here I'm going to call this uh, arrow rights then this one arrow left so once that is done um, meanwhile all these images were gotten from freepeak.com so you can just go to freepeak.com to select to see some of these images that I've used I'm going to show you where I got it free peak so that is the website go to this place this is where I got the images so you just search for the image you want so going to go back to my design and uh, now it's time to set the status progress bar so I'm going to set this to 10 gonna reduce reduce this opacity to 20 and once that is done I'm going to select my rectangle and just draw it inside set the rectangle to 20 then set this to white so once that is white i'm just going to call this progress progress bar so get this guy inside here We'll reduce this now one last thing to do is to uh, set our numbers so I'm just going to come here and uh, write one so this I'm going to change to 40 then make this extra bold I'm going to add up the layouts set this to one so that Figma will automatically increment it for us so just going to open this up yeah set it like this make sure to select this and uh, center it once this is done i'm going to duplicate it two three four five six seven eight so um Figma is actually giving us an increment 11, 12 because I've already had this number before. So I'm just going to set this. The only thing I wanted, I just wanted is for it not to have the same name. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I think I guess we just stop at 9, 8. So select everything and add auto layouts. So I'm going to call this number. Just number. And get here and say click content. I'm going to set it to um, vertical. Then close it. Make sure this points to the top. So once I've done that, I'm now going to bring it here it's time to select your navigation select your progress bar and select your number then add auto layouts make sure this progress bar is set to fill content so we'll have this like this next thing to do is to select all of this 
and add up the layouts make sure you I'm going to select all of them and give give it a corner radius of 5 so what I'm going to do now is to call these pictures then click contents now it's time to move it inside a frame get this to stay here so once we we'll, we'll have this settled i'm going to now show you guys i've written this text done this the rolling text how i did that so i've written this and this is my button i'm just going to add up the layouts and give it a stroke set the stroke to inside i'm going to change the color to white then give it a full corner radius 50 so i'm going to set this to 30 so we have we'll have enough pardon so call this button i don't know for some reasons i like renaming my layers i don't like using those frame stuff because when you start working with smart animates it can actually mess your work up but if you form the habit of renaming all those layers it's going to save you a huge amount of stress so i'm going to have this as text so now what we are going to do is to set this thing here this button is already here and i have this uh rectangle that is on top i'm going to set that to white and give it a corner radius of five so we'll leave this to a height of 10 much better so these are the words that i have beautiful experience amazing feelings beautiful imaginations silent meditation 10 billion colors on wavering focus experience reality and advanced ar solutions one two three four five six seven eight so that's equals to the eight numbers we have here so what i'm going to do now is to select all of it just first of all what you need to do is to select you can just select all of it and add up the layout then increment it so but just because uh, all of them are not on the same is not on the same weight so i'm just going to find the one with the highest number so this is 643 so i'm going to use 643 as the weight so select everything oh this is the highest number 730 so I'm just going to change this to 700. So 700. Now select this, all of them, and change to 700. So they will have the same width. So now for the height, the height should be, the height should be what it is here. Yeah. Just all of them are literally the same. So what I'm going to do now is to select all of this you just have to lay it vertically even though if you have it horizontal when you add up the layout you can actually align it vertically so now i'm going to add up the layout once i've done that i'm just going to call this text so close it up then click content So the reason why I actually added auto layout is because I'm just going to go ahead and remove it. Auto layout will not allow us, allow us to move things, move this text as we go. But the reason why I added it is because I need to also, um, I would have to just go straight to the bottom. So I won't have to do redo it. So I'm just going to do it to the center, center text. So what I'm going to do now is to move it inside, move it here. then add auto layout so once everything is sorted out just close this like this we're going to have something like this at the end of the day i'm going to set this to select this no i'm just going to have it like this then 30 i'm just going to set this to 20. yep 20 makes more sense 
So once you're done, make sure this is called uh, text wrap. I'm going to bring it here. Once this is here, select this. I want to close this gap here, it's too much. And select this one and add auto layout. Now I'm going to close this. So we'll have it like this. What I'm going to do now is to increase this to 25. Just come here and say 25. Then get this here. So once that is done, what we now need to do is to go to the frame and just open this guy up like this and we've automatically framed it. Now what I need to do is to make sure you get your, pro, uh, your preview background color and match it with this. So I'm going to go to prototype, go to show prototype settings. This is the color I'm talking about. It's the background color of your preview. Uh, your app preview so I'm going to copy this come to this place and uh, I'm going to paste so now it has that color the next thing I'm going to do now is to create the, sh the shadow on the bottom select uh, Eclipse now I'm going to draw this Eclipse like this so what I'm going to do now is to double click, then move it like this, then move this guy up. Once I'm done, I'm just going to double click outside, select it again, go to effects, come here and say layer blur. Set this layer blur to 50. Then change this color. So I'm going to reduce this to this color, uh, so it will have the same, it will stay in the same line with this. So set it to the back, and that was how I actually achieved something that looks like this. So again, we are going to increase this to 70. So 70 looks much better. So once you're done, set, give it a corner radius of 5. Now, remember I have this on auto layout. I'm still going to ungroup them to allow these things to grow the way I want it. So now this stuff that is inside here, we also need to remove the auto layout. And uh, the same thing with this guy, I'm going to remove the auto layout on it. So it's time to just call this cover. So I'm going to duplicate into eight. We have three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that is it. So once we have that, for this guy, this guy, that is uh, image zero. What's the name of this image? Make sure no image is the same name. Just make sure all this image is have different name. If not, you're going to conflict things up during your smart animation. Uh, when you start smart animating. So what I'm going to do now is to close this guy up. Do the same thing here. Don't move it just I need it. I could have done this before duplicating it, but I'm just going to quickly do that. And this is the last one. So for this last one, what I'm going to do is to select this one because it has auto layout. Look at it. Text. Before it has auto layout, I'm just going to push it here. So it gives me the last part. This last part seems broken. So what I'm going to, because I actually uh, close this thing. So make sure this is 
this doesn't break so select this and yeah stretch it so we have this what I'm now going to do is to also open this guy up to this very point select this one remove the auto layout there remove auto layout then once you hit enter you can now push something up so you push it up be careful so you don't pull out from that frame so when you start pulling out yep just move So the next one we are going to have is oh. so we have experience reality yeah experience reality so for this I'm going to remove the auto layout then hit enter move things up just easy so we're going to bring this to unwavering so you see our unwavering got broken we're going to open this make sure this this is open to and this guy is few this guy is also few this needs to be few or you just have to open it up unwavering focus now select this also and do the same thing remove auto layout hit enter and shifts so we get it to 10 billion colors yep so come here and do the same thing remove auto layout hit enter so this stays at silent meditation then remove get this one remove the other layouts hit enter this stays at uh, beautiful imagination then this guy i'm going to remove other layouts hit enter on your laptop And set it to amazing feeling so this is beautiful experience now we've done this I'm going to select this image and get rid of it get rid of it I'm holding my control and shift at the same time to just select only the images and get rid of it get rid of this so once that is done i'm going to copy this image copy this one first then paste it here so once we have it here we we'll send it to the back i'm going to increase this you can get the width is 1692 once that is done now it's time to move this out and place it here so we're going to say one two eight zero eight three two then set it right send to the back select this one send to the back let it stay at the back of this one so for this i'm going to add just light opacity on it 
and uh, the next thing we're going to do is to select this copy it and paste here send to the back we're going to get the resize the background image then get this guy out then get this one out so what i'm now going to do is to say one two eight zero eight three two set this here set this here send it to the back select this one send it to the back this one stays here i'm just going to give it a gradient so now the next thing i'm going to do is to make sure that the thing here is that make sure that the background here this image is the background on this this image the one in front here stays at the background of this particular frame now what next I'm going to come here and uh, get rid of this get rid of this then bring this guy out this image is this one so we need to blow it out so I'm going to set this to 0 set this to 1280 then set this to 832 am I correct? Yeah, position it very well then send it to the back uh, we'll add gradients and um, once that is done I'm going to select this copy and paste it here then enlarge this image and send it to the back right so it's get into this one so what i'm going to do now is to pick this one copy it come here and paste it send it to the back increase this then get this delete get this delete get this delete and get this out now we're going to set this to zero, set this to one, two, eight, zero, and set this to eight, three, two. Position it properly and send to the back. Select this and send to the back of it. So now we are gradually making progress. We are, we're now going to get this, delete, delete this, delete this and delete this so what we're going to do now is to bring this out set this to one two eight zero eight three two position it properly and i'm going to add a little gradient then send it to the back i'm going to copy this and paste then send to the back and increase the height and the weights once that is done I'm going to now take this and increase it so get this off then bring this guy out so one two eight zero zero eight three two then position it properly send to the back then once that is done select this copy it come here and paste it increase the height and the width And send to the back now we are down with this which is the last one so I'm going to select these images and delete 
select this one and also delete De select this one delete select this one and bring it out we're going to set the width one two eight c eight three two make sure that is positioned properly then i'm going to remove this and send to the back so once i have that i'm going to copy this and paste it here increase this and send to the back so we are now done with this i'm going to select everything and add auto layout now give a space of 200 once you do that i'm going to ungroup it or you can just select everything then come here and uh, space it out so once i've done that i'm going to select this head over to there's another thing we need to do we need to change the numbers we need to change the numbers so for this i'm going to remove the auto layouts here and hit enter get to number two make sure to not pull outside number two be careful so the numbers don't go off i'm going to remove auto layout on this hit enter then push push gradually hit ctrl z to go back then move to three now this would remove auto layout hit enter and push this will be four yeah this is four then do the same thing here remove auto layout hit enter and push this should be five then select this remove auto layout hit enter and gradually push it up this should be six then this what i'm going to do now is to bring it down to eight then remove auto layout then hit enter and bring down is entering another frame now hit enter and start from here and push it we need to remove auto layout remove auto layout hit enter then start from here and push to seven so now this last one what the only thing i'm just going to do is just to say push it down and it comes to eight so once you've done that you're going to select this go to prototype and link to this say after delay of two thousand milliseconds this is the time it takes to get to the next screen so i'm going to say smart animate and now it's going to be custom i'm going to make this custom 1500 then set this this way and get this this way so once you're done close select this frame and do the same thing after delay of 2000 so figma because we've done this figma actually sticks uh, takes this and uh you don't have to repeat it again so select this link it to this frame after delay 2000 so we don't have to do any other thing on this place select this move it to this place after delay 2000 
select this set this after delay 2000 select link it to this after delay of 2000 so after delay of two seconds it will show us the next image so get this here after delay 2000 milliseconds and that is the last part now it's time for us to preview our work i'm going to select this and actually preview and see what we came up with so this is our final result so you see how the images are moving the numbers are rolling and the text is rolling the subtext is the header this heading is rolling and uh, this image kind of moves in when the one on the edge blows up so that is how to create this amazing slider in figma i hope you stick around subscribe and i will always make sure to push out some of this content on advanced prototyping you're going to learn a lot on this channel i'm going to teach you everything you need to know about figma prototyping stick around and i'm going to see you on the next video bye for now